hi guys it's Hany here welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to make this adorable santa cake and i'm also teaming up with Lori from the icing artist Lori is going to teach you how you guys can make this beautiful snow globe cake check it out on Lori's youtube channel and now let's make the santa cake to make the cake i used my velvet pound cake recipe and I used my giant cupcake pan although I ended up not using the top portion because it kind of fell apart I dropped it accidentally so I'm gonna show you how you can use uh, six inch cakes instead I'm trimming the sides and I'm also going to trim the bottom as well So for the head, I decided, for the head, for my scent, I decided to use two six-ish cakes and these are peanut butter cakes. However, I'm only going to use three cake layers. I torted each cake, so I had four cake layers. I'm going to use three cake layers for my head and I'm adding one more cake layer onto the bottom. I'm brushing the cakes with simple syrup simple sugar syrup and I'm filling it with buttercream. Once your cake is filled, give it a quick crumb coat and then stick it into the fridge until firm. I'm going to repeat the same process with my six inch cakes, but I am not going to from coated, I'm just gonna stick it in the fridge until it firms up and then we can carve it. Once you are happy with the shape of the head, we can um, crumb coat the cake. I'm using red buttercream. And I'm going to use a small spatula to spread the thin layer of buttercream onto the cake. And I'm going to stick it into the fridge for about 20-30 minutes until it firms up. So my bottom cake has been chilling for a while. Now I'm going to ice it with red buttercream. and it goes back into the fridge again until the buttercream firms up. Now it's time to ice the head. So I'm using a large spatula now, smooth the icing. And once again, once you're done, it's going back into the fridge and then we can assemble the cake. To decorate my Santa cake, I am going to be using buttercream and fondant. Here I'm measuring the size for the face for my fondant piece. Roll out a small piece of ivory colored fondant. Shape a small piece into a bowl and then cut it in half. These are going to be cheeks. I wanted the cheeks to be a little puffy, so I'm going to add this first on my cake, and then we're going to layer that flat piece of fondant on top. Use a little bit of water for the glue.
To add some color to the cheeks, I'm using pink and red petal dust. Now we're going to make the eyes. For the eyes I'm going to use um, some black fondant. So you're just going to roll, uh, roll it between your fingers into a ball and then cut it in half and roll it again. And then use a little bit of water to attach it onto the cake. You need to roll out a piece of white fondant into a long strip and then um, cut it, fold the edges Use a little bit of water on the buttercream and then attach the white strip on the head Covering up the seam between two cakes Santa has a really thick beard, so I'm using white buttercream and a star tip to make the beard. Shape ivory colored fondant into a ball, flatten it a little bit and then use a little bit of water and attach it onto the cake. I'm using some petal dust on the nose as well. Here I have some white fondant, I'm just brushing some water onto it and then sprinkle some white nonpareils. On the ball, let it sit for about 30 minutes and then you can insert a toothpick in there and top your head. I'm using a large food only brush and some gold lust dust to give my cake a little shimmer. And then uh, we're gonna cut out small snowflakes. So you just need to roll out a piece of white fondant, fairly thin, and then cut out the snowflakes and attach them onto the white strip with um, a little bit of water. I'm also adding some gold sheen onto the cheeks and the nose and the last thing I almost forgot to add the eyebrows you know how S Santa has those thick eyebrows so I, um, I almost forgot them so I'm going to add them now attach them onto the fondant using a little bit of water hold in place for a few seconds and then your Santa cake is done I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comment section down below and don't forget to check out Lori over at the icing artist YouTube channel and learn how to make this beautiful 
snow globe cake. Link to the video is going to be posted also down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you next time.